Well, if Minnesota's going to have success, they're going to have to have their guards play well. That cannot happen. They, they really struggled at Iowa with their transition defense. A big-time shot. His ability to play out of the post. He's got every post move. Now Minnesota doing a nice job of hanging in there on the offensive end. Unable to get it to go, but Kyle Young there to clean it up. You love that you don't have to run anything for him, and he's productive. Great step through. Dave Kalsher gets his first two. Muhammad, now easy baseline look for Wesson, but this is it badly. It was maybe too open there. Robbie, here's Carr. Stepping through the lane and getting it to go. His car with his second hoop. Muhammad, that's a three. How about the tempo on this one? Car with the shot clock under 10. Down low, Alejandro Mir. That's just a breakdown. Wesson with the shot clock at seven. Working on Jarvis Omersa. Shot clock at three. E.J. Liddell, another freshman, able to drop in two. All of a sudden, you've got different personnel, and Rich Richard Patino has played to that. Oh, think about this, Robbie. They've attempted 20 or more threes in all nine of their games. As another three goes up and in from Willis. There's Carton, has Oturu on him. Lines up a three that misses badly. Kalsher the other way. He'll try a three. Yeah, Here's Kalsher. Down low, Omersa. Williams gets it to go. No matter how you play when your guards go one of 20 from the field, no, but you have certainly, no it's certainly with how perimeter oriented they are. You knew that coming in, Daniel O'Toole needed to get some help, and so far he has had that. Barnyard not quite as full as it typically is. Muhammad with the steal ahead to Walker as it knocked away. Good job by Trey Williams, the freshman recovering their defensive opportunity for the Gophers, and the lead remains at seven. Here's Carton, so explosive. Now to Muhammad. Caleb Wesson for three. He is shooting with so much confidence. And team to shoot coming out of the timeout. We'll see what Richard Patino drew up here. Here's Demir. Working his way into the lane. Puts it up at the left. And Oturu, the big time follow. Here's Carr. They get it inside. Oturu into the finish. And a fitting ending to a really impressive half as Walker misses off the front rim. Caleb Wesson, now Muhammad. And he hits it. What a third Muhammad shot. hitting a big three. Ten point lead for Minnesota. We've seen two top five Big Ten teams go down on the road this week. And on the receiving end there, it's Kelsher and the lead back up to a dozen. He's got to understand that he is far too important to take a foul like that 94 feet from the rim. Trey Williams on his 19th birthday gets points number three and four. Here's Carr with a head of steam. Gets the roll. Marcus Carr having himself a game. 18 points. Kelsher, when he gets going to his right hand, he can really finish. Gets in the paint right there. Walker answers with a three, the Florida State transfer. Now Parton. Parton hanging in the air, tough shot. Rebound, Liddell, and he gets it to go, and the foul. But you see the explosiveness in the burst to get into the paint. Oturu, great position down low. And he jams home his ninth and tenth points of the game, and now Oturu going down in a heap. I think you have to get your team to understand and this is something that you want if you're Chris Holtman. You haven't been in many close games. DJ Carter showed you the first in the athleticism that he has. 11-2 run for Ohio State. Carr into the paint and gets it to go and draws the foul. Talk about a hoop Minnesota needed. Shot clock under 10. Carr over Wesson. Marcus Carr with 30 points. What a scene here at Williams Arena. As Carr, why not? Home team still perfect in the Big Ten. Top five teams 0 and 3 on the road in conference play. And here they come.